welcome back to the wholesome feed. Today I want to address a topic that I have chatted about before because it's an important topic. I want to talk about the dad's guide to surviving colic because colic is intense and crazy and a lot of babies have it. Um, it's not really necessarily a diagnosed thing, like colic is not a thing per se, but it means that your baby's going to be really fussy, especially in the evening, like profoundly fussy and uncomfortable and inconsolable. Um, and it's just very difficult and it takes a big strain on everybody's relationship and everybody's psyche to deal with colic because it is very intense. Um, one thing you can do, you're dead, you weren't breastfeeding, you can have a drink. You know, don't have a lot, but have one. Have something that calms your nerves. That's very valuable because if your kid's going to scream from like 6 p.m. until 2 a.m. straight through every night for months, you're going to want something that calms you. And that leads up to number two, is <sighs> learn to do breathing meditation while you're holding your child, right? Because you won't be able to put your child away and go meditate in a quiet part of the house or out in the yard, right? You're gonna have to be dealing with this, you're in the moment of it, but it really helps to learn to <sighs> do breathing meditation. It isn't just breathing in and out, right? Count to 20, that's not what it is. You're breathing in, you're visualizing light, coming into your body and then you're breathing out through your mouth anxiety and worry and out of the moment thought so all that negativity you aren't focusing on it and that is greatly helpful to calming nerves um, those are two easy way to calm nerves number three is to baby wear um, you know, your partner cannot deal with colic baby 100% on their own. No one can. It's unfair to ask that of your partner. So learning to baby wear is very valuable because you are giving them a chance to go have a shower, take a moment. Um, colic babies often want to breastfeed a whole lot in the evening when um, a mother's supply is the lowest dip of their supply. So it's really nice to give them a half hour, 45 minute break to go breathe a little bit or even just to sit and with you while the baby cries but not have to be holding the baby. So baby wear and there's a lot of different um, baby carriers. There's ring slings, there's baby ergos. Um, you can just hold them in your arms and jiggle all that. That gets tiring after a while. Um, number four, and I think this is a really important one because it makes baby happier too, um, is finding music that you love and maybe very raucous music that you wouldn't normally play at night. Um, I found that with my son, rock music really helped his colic. I don't know why, I don't know what the sound was, but it seemed to calm him a little bit. I mean, it's all relative, right? So put on some rock music and just, you know, enjoy the music and hopefully it will drown out some of the colic screaming. I found that that helped me because I was listening to music. I wasn't just listening to the screaming going, please stop, please stop, please stop, right? You're just moving them back and forth, moving them back and forth, dancing them back and forth because they love the little colicky dance. Um, it helped to have some music on. And number five is to talk about how stressful colic is with your partner, with your friends, with your family. It is okay to say as a dad that this is stressing me out. I love my child. Um, I love my life. It's okay to still be stressed out with that. It's not a bad thing or a sign of weakness. And being able to talk about it is a huge one, right? You can do all these other four steps, but without number five, without talking about how you feel about it, it just builds up and it builds up into all sorts of negative outcomes that nobody wants, right? It's just a colicky baby. Lots of colic babies exist. You can totally survive it and it's so much more bearable and an enjoyable experience to have a baby with colic or at least a baby slash one with colic if you can talk about it. Um, so have people in your life that you can confide in and that you can just complain and blow up steam to. That is so valuable. I hope that you know, some of the father's topics that I cover are useful and helpful to you and inspire you to maybe get out of the zone you were in or maybe you were feeling a little bit stuck and you went, oh, one of these ideas inspired something good. And I hope that's what they do. So until next time, check out all the links in the description. I link to all of my romance novels and to my blog and my Instagram account. I will see you all around. And hey, thanks so much for subscribing to The Wholesome Feed and being a part of this family. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Rose Kelly. I'm a mom to my three-year-old son. 
um, who was very colicky as a baby, incredibly high needs, and still is. Uh, and so I really try to address those in a gentle parenting way where we're gentle to ourselves, we're kind to ourselves as moms and dads, and we're kind and respectful to our children um, so that everybody has a happy, joyous family, right? That's the goal is we just want a happy family. And that's a lot of what I talk about on this channel, along with, you know, fitness and breastfeeding and motherhood and fatherhood. And, you know, the complexity of that is that that is okay to not have it be perfectly polished to be a parent and that we're all working through this journey and experiencing this journey, right? It's a community journey. We're all going through it. Nobody has gone, oh, got to the other journey. I'm a great parent. Wow, this five-year-old's amazing. <laughs> right? We're all just walking along together. So I will see you all over Instagram and Twitter and back on here in the next post.